हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गड़ा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला स्टूडेंट वी आर लर्निंग द फाइनल इयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द सोलर एंड वाइंड एनर्जी एज वी रिमेम्बर और इफ यू हैव सीन द लास्ट ऑल वीडियोज यू विल सी दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल द पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन टू फोर दैट ऑल आर रिलेटेड टू द सोलर एनर्जी बट सिंस इन द लास्ट Uh, some lectures we have started the unit number 5 that is nothing but the wind energy now in the wind energy we have discussed some points and remaining points we are going to continue so let's see which points we have discussed that are nothing but the basics of wind energy that means what is the wind energy how that energy will be utilized for generating the electrical or mechanical power that we have seen then we have seen that the principle by which wind energy can be converted into the mechanical or electrical power then we have seen basic components of wind energy conversion system that means the components of wind energy conversion system that we have seen now in the today's lecture we have to see the main important point that is the types of the wind energy so types of wind energy we have to find out so let's see how many types of wind energy is available on the earth so wind mills are separate and wind energy is separate that you have to remember wind mills also we are going to see but after that lectures we are going to see wind mills now in the today's lecture we are going to see the different types of wind energy so how many types of wind energy is available on the earth generally following three types of wind energy are available so which are that utility scale wind energy then second offshore wind energy and third one small scale or distributed wind energy so that's are the three types of wind energy which are available on the earth so let's see one by one all the wind energy so first one utility scale wind energy as per the name utility scale that means the wind energy which will produce the mechanical work or electrical output for the day to day life utilities so that is nothing but the utility scale wind energy so what they have said about utility scale wind energy these are large scale wind project designed to be used as a source of energy for the utility companies so they are similar in scope to the coal fired or natural gas power plants which they sometimes replace as a supplements turbines exceed 100 kilowatts of power in a size and usually installed in a group to provide the significant power so currently this types of system provides about 8.4% of all energy in the united state all of you understand that means utility scale wind energy that means nothing but the energy which will useful to drive the different equipments in the industrial application or the energy supplied for the industrial application so by the utility scale 8.4 percent of total energy is out is for the utility scale wind energy and that power plant will generate up to 1000 100 kilowatts of power all of you understand that is nothing but the utility scale wind energy now next one wind energy that is nothing but the offshore wind energy so let's see what they have said about offshore wind energy these are generally utility scale wind energy project that are planned in the waters of coastal area that means the wind energy which is available in the water of coastal area that energy is utilized for the offshore wind energy that is, that is nothing but the offshore wind energy they can generate thermos thermandus power near the larger cities that means they can produce tremendous power near the larger city so to supply or to fulfill the requirement of the larger city which tends to cluster closer to shore in much of the united state wind blows more consequently and strongly in the offshore area than in the land that means in the offshore area or sea land area 
वाइंड विल मोर कंसिक्वेंटली फ्लो बिकॉज देयर विल विद नो एक्सट्रैक्ट और नो एक्सट्रैक्ट सेस इन टू द सी लैंड और कोस्टल एरिया दैट्स वाई द वाइंड विल मोर फ्लो मोर कंसिक्वेंटली इन द ऑप्शर एरिया अकॉर्डिंग टू द यू एस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी बेस्ड ऑन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डाटा एंड कैलकुलेशन द पोटेंशियल ऑफ ऑफशोर वाइंड एनर्जी इन द यू एस इज मोर दैन टू थाउजेंड जीगा वैट ऑफ पावर दैट मीन्स इट इज अ टू मच लार्ज सो विच इज टू टाइम्स द जनरेटिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ ऑल यू एस इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर प्लांट ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड वर्ल्ड वाइड एनर्जी वाइंड एनर्जी कूड प्रोवाइड मोर दैन एटीन टाइम्स वाट द वर्ल्ड करंटली यूजेस अकॉर्डिंगली टू द इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी एजेंसी दैट मीन्स वाट फॉर द ऑफशोर वाइंड एनर्जी वे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग और वे आर यूटिलाइजिंग द वाइंड एनर्जी विच इज फ्लोविंग इन द offshore area that means in the coastal area so that wind energy we are using for converting the mechanical output or electrical work or power now third one third type of wind energy is present that is the small scale or distributed wind energy that is nothing but the home appliances so this type of wind energy is opposite to the examples above that means that both the wind energy offshore wind energy and uh, first one utility scale wind energy that both are the large scale wind energy but small scale or distributed wind energy is different than the another one these are wind turbines that are smaller in physical size and are used to meet the energy demands of the specific site or local area that means that are the wind turbine that are smaller in physical size and are used to meet the energy demands for the specific site or local area sometimes these turbines are connected to the larger energy distribution grids and sometimes they are off grid also you will see this smaller installation 5 kilowatts of size only in residential setting where they might provide some or most of the home needs depending on the weather and medium sized version 20 kilowatts or so at industrial or community sites where they might be parts of renewable energy system that also includes solar power geothermal or other energy sources so that is nothing but the small scale or distributed wind energy distributed type wind energy so that's are the three types of wind energy first one utility scale wind energy second one offshore wind energy and third one small scale and distributed wind energy so like that in the today's lecture we have seen different types of wind energy and we have seen that why that wind energy is required it will require to generate the mechanical work or electrical power so with the help of any of the three wind energy we can generate the mechanical power or electrical power so today we will stop here for the today's lecture next topic we will continue in the next lecture